Okay, you guys are going to really, really love this tutorial. I'm going to share with you my time-tested te design techniques, how to build the comp inside of Fireworks from scratch. We're going to build this comp from scratch. So Fireworks enables you to publish right to a server for a design comp. Then we're going to bring it into Dreamweaver and build CSS over on top of it. So here's my different versions of this particular site that we're going to build during this tutorial series. So it's really cool. There's rounded corners, drop shadows, all kinds of different things in here. Now, inside the Fireworks document itself, for those of you that are not familiar with Fireworks here, Fireworks works very similar to the way that Photoshop works. But here's the big thing. F Fireworks is a PNG document. It creates PNG files. Fireworks native file format is PNG. PNG, Portable Network Graphic, supports transparency, supports layers, as you can see here. Plus, I can publish right to a web server. Okay, so I can basically do a mock-up here using my design tools without CSS, without HTML. I can basically create my design comp, publish it to the server, show the client that build CSS over on top of it. Now, what's going to make this tutorial exciting is we already have exactly what we need. So as an example, if I click here, I can see that this is the coma tie face 26 pixels. Okay, So if I click this box, I can see its width, I can see its height, I can see the position of this x y coordinates. So what's really cool about Photoshop copying from, I'm sorry, Photoshop, what's really cool about copying in from Fireworks is Fireworks is web publishable. Fireworks creates PNG files, Photoshop does not. Photoshop creates a PSD file that I have to convert. So this program was built from the ground up to be a web graphics design tool. So i share with you some, some very cool time-tested techniques of how to produce a professional website. So we're going to build a design comp first, then once it's approved by the client, we're going to put CSS over on top of it. But what separates this video from my previous previous videos on trace images, etc., etc., is we're going to know exactly how high and how wide with the tight faces, etc., 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 because we have absolute positioning here with our x and y coordinates. So stay tuned. Definitely uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to do a whole series on how to put this together. Very exciting stuff. You can do the whole thing in fireworks that we build CSS over on top of it. CSS3, HTML5, so stay tuned, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.